Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Let me see Monday. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Well creeps, our teacups, we have made it through another week. Oh my God, and not only that, we made it to another month, which is the month of February. So shout out to my Aquarius bitches that are out there. This is for y'all. Anyway, so before we get started, I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe on my video, promo ready. Make sure you hit that bell up at the top for me so you can get my notifications when I post my YouTube videos. It'll help you help me, okay? Anyway, now before we get started, because this week was messy, let me shout out my friend, and that is Dennis. Hey, bitch. Dennis, thank you so much for having my post notifications on on Twitter. You were the first to comment and I greatly appreciate it. I just want to let you know that I see you supporting me and that it was my time to support you. So thank you so much, friend. Hey, bitch. Now, with that being said, let's get into this shit. And that is the sugar honey iced tea because you girls love staying in some shit. Come on. All right, y'all, y'all. I'll watch them. Thank you, Trill. which was Kentrell Jr. And um, congratulations. But the thing is, Kentrell Sr. is nowhere to be seen. I don't know where he at, where he been at, but I know he's not been in the picture, okay? And um, it's just mighty funny. She allowed this man to call her daddy a bitch and all this other stuff. Sorry ass nigga, whatever, whatever. Boom, 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 blah, 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 blah. But now, you wanna talk to your daddy. Now, you wanna be around your daddy. So now you see here, her daddy is now in the picture. I'm glad somebody is, because I mean, hello. Um, he's in the picture, and he's been taking care of the baby, which I think is an amazing thing, because Floyd Mayweather should be there, because Yaya needs that guidance. And I feel like now, since NBA is not there doing it, she ran back to her daddy. I don't know, I'm trying to my business. So after spending time with her daddy, Yaya then goes and says that her and Kentrell Jr. might be moving in. Uh, I guess so, because you can't live with NBA. <laughs> the hell working on the go. Anyway, so after that, she goes and she posts old videos of her and Contrell, and people start talking about her about it, and she goes and says, I do what I want. But it's just kind of funny, like, why are you doing that? He went at the baby shower. He wasn't at the delivery. Girl, he ain't here now. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? Like, just focus on you and your child, honey. Even naming the child Contrell Jr. thinking he was going to come back. Girl, that didn't work. Girl, just... Focus on you. And then after that, she goes, she goes, the baby already got a Rolex. What is he gonna do? So he suck on it? <laughs> what the baby gonna do? He don't even know how to tell time. He don't even know your name yet. He can't even say mama. You know what? Lord help him. If it ain't about me, don't buy that baby a Rolex. Next case. Next to Sugar Honey Iced Tea, we have Rasby. Now, Rasby has been vocal about the situation that's been going on between him and Chris Stokes for I don't know how long, honey. I mean, years. What's up, put? Oh, my bad. I can't refer to you in that because you like little boys, right? It's been 10 days. Don't have nobody reach out to me. You, you, you know my number, the 9168 number. Call me because I know. And you know, I wouldn't want to be in jail. I'm trying to say, but you got to do the right thing, bro. Touch not thy anoint towards do my profits no harm. Stop abusing your power. 
say you're a Jehovah Witness. And Marcus, why don't you tell your, your wife all the things that you've done? That is a creep, by the way. You know what it is. I want that fake to pull up by. Now, I don't know what y'all think about the situation, but I think the situation is really messy. And what Chris Stokes needs to do is just come on out and talk to this man. Now, he wants him to take a lot of tech tests, but everybody already knows if a lot of tech tests was that easy, there would be a lot of people in jail or out of jail, and we would have to go to court because all you gotta do is just put them on that. It's, but it's not that easy. The things are very faulty. But hey, Chris, go do it. Ain't no grown man finna sit here and say this year after year after year after year after year. That's hurt, honey. He's hurting. And I don't even think he want the man to go to jail. I just think he want his one, like he said, his fade. So, Chris, put your little Jehovah's Bible down, a little booklet, and go on out here and go fight this man. We we already know Jesus is coming, so maybe he's gonna let you go see him real soon. But anyway, you're gonna have to meet somebody. You're gonna have to either meet that jail cell, Jesus, or this man. And it ain't, it ain't none of my business. All right, well, if it ain't about me, he gonna beat Chris Stokes. And I ain't talking about with his wee wee. Next case. Next with Shagani Ice Tea, we have Clarence versus Chris. Again, these two, I feel like they fucking. They either fucking or they really like each other because this is just too much. Now, Clarence already knew what he was doing when he posted this post right here. That's why my new nigga got more pants than you. And if you zoom in, he made a little statement at the top and it said, this actually has me crying. Laughy face, laughy face, laughy face. And I'm like, okay, you really weren't crying that hard, but we gonna pretend you were. Anyway, Chris sees it and Chris starts, he wants to come back and he says, <laughs> he said, things you can do with men, <laughs> men who are under five, five. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I kiki for real. And that one made me laugh because, bitch, I can see Clarence and Queen doing that. Clarence gives it like that wants to play house and peekaboo and shit like that. So, I, <laughs> I don't know. Queen just gives me very much. She wear the. <laughs> it is what it is. Whatever it is, whatever. I think these two are in cahoots. I believe that him, Queen, and Clarence are all friends behind the scenes. Because this is a this is a thing. Like, why why end it? But um anyway, so after we saw Clarence getting tossed around like a little ball in the circus <laughs> with the post that Chris made, Clarence then pays it and he comes back out with um another picture of him getting his teeth done. And it looks good. So Chris takes it upon himself to go up under the comment and say, I see you, my boy. And I'm like, here go, Chris. Y'all done really like started him up with this bullshit. And <laughs> so then Chris gonna go and post this picture. Of, I can change my pants, but you can't change being lame. Now, Chris, I don't know who told you. <laughs> that that outfit was cute. You bitch. Chris, you just do shit on purpose at this point. <laughs> <laughs> just be the center of attention. Cause that custom made looking shirt and them Forever 21 jeans was just a fool and you tried it. But hey, do you Chris? And then, <laughs> anyway, if it ain't about me, let's get geek. Next case. Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Mika A Fox versus Ben. She totally blew it. And I'm gonna keep that 100% real. Being a person that like dated a rapper back in the day, she did that to get back at that baby mama and to throw that in her face and it absolutely backfired on her. Now I was like, bitch, you better talk your shit hot. Now in the midst of all that, Drew came out with a post, switched up the lyrics to Danny's song and it said, Melanin, that's what he wants. So Danny thought she was being playful and friendly with her. Well, I believe Drizzy was showing her ass shade, so Danny wanna put it on her story and she gonna say, caption, it ain't nothing wrong with that, bitch. She wasn't trying to be your friend, ho. She was shading you, Miss Thang. But anyway, I was just like, bitch, she was not trying to be your sister. She just, just sit down somewhere. She always wanna just talk, 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 talk. Just sit down somewhere. Damn. She ain't been posting the baby like she used to do. I guess he take her home with his baby mama again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to smell your stinking socks. <laughs> bro, bro, you put your socks in my teeth. And whenever he around the children, he around her. And that's when Danny go missing. Know your place and run your race. I guess he don't like that yellow on too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. The girls, the girls, the girls. Well, in a couple of more days, after he's done his daddy duties, he'll be back with Danny and we'll see her put him all over social media like it's wallpaper. Okay, child. If it ain't about me, let's keep eating. Next case. 
Next for the Shigani Ice Tea, we have Sunset and Sans the Gemini. This right here lasted shorter than some of y'all girls, period. And I was just like, what the f is going on? They got together, as we all know, they were so deeply in love from what they were posting. They were just all over each other. He was talking about, oh, this is gonna be the one. I'ma marry her, whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. But then come to find out, just the other day, the shade was gonna post that they broke up and then Super Rose, woo, yes, sir. And then I got to thinking to myself, I said, well, girl, maybe he done got the nerve up to ask her for a loan. Oh! <laughs> My God. He done asked her for a loan and she said, you know what? The door, you got to go. <laughs> My God. My God. No, I'm just playing. I don't know what the hell he asked for, but it was something because she said, got to go. <laughs> but now, some people speculate that it might have been the, um, silhouette challenge that she did and he got a little upset about the situation because mind you back then she was saying that they have known each other and whatever the case may be and maybe he thought that that was a little bit too much when you were supposed to have been his girlfriend. I don't know if that's hypothetically speaking. Don't take my word for it. So a fan gonna ask her, was that for a publicity stunt? And she said, no baby, I don't do anything for a publicity stunt. I love him, but we're just not meant to be and that is okay. And I was just like, you love him? Y'all were just together for like 30 seconds. <laughs> but no, 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 my business. But anyway, so obviously it wasn't for Melissa Dunn. She really did like him and all that good stuff. So um, yeah, I just, I guess it just didn't happen. One thing I can't say in respect about Super, if something is not for her baby, she is not staying. It is what it is. If it ain't about me, save the Gemini. I'm free. Next guy. <laughs> Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have R versus Money Back Yo. Now, word on the street is that they broke up, okay? Because there was a post that was made. It gave everybody speculation that the house wasn't a happy home. Now, Money Back had wrote, you know where those little types get you right? And that's when Ari responded with, he's single, y'all. He wants y'all to know so bad. Now, people were thinking they were just trolling because that's what they usually do. They'll troll people and make y'all think something going on, but it really isn't. But once she posted this next tweet, he broke my heart, I'm so depressed. That's when everybody was like, okay, something's not right. Now, the little birdie came into my ear and allegedly, Moneybag Yo had been seen with his baby mama. Now, I don't know how recent this picture is. I didn't go do my research and I'm sorry if this is old. If it's old, leave it down in the comments. But he, they had said that he had went to go see his baby mama and you see the watch that's in the picture is also with her. And maybe that is what Ari was talking about. He broke my heart, I'm depressed. I don't know. But it looks like they done talked it out and they done got it together, child. And then they done been seen at the airport. And I'm just like, that's why people be flying on private jets because y'all can't just let them fly in peace. Anyway, I hope you didn't go back and see that baby mom. That'd be so sad. But it ain't none of my business. If it ain't about me, let's keep keep next cave. Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Blue Baby and Jay. Now, this was not put on social media. This had came to me from a little birdie. So this is allegedly left all my other stuff is allegedly. So I don't know. Now, we had got the word that little baby ended up having relations allegedly with the porn star. Now, the video never came out. The video that's on the internet is fake because the other guy, he came and claimed it and said it was his, which is a porn star who's on OnlyFans. Now, this is what I was shown. I don't know how true it is, because you know, she let it go, it is what it is, and people are wondering like, well, if he didn't have sex with her, why'd you let him go? It was told to me, there's a rapper in Memphis by the name of YP Hood Rich, and he had a fiance, and the gag is that little baby messed with that man's fiance, is what I'm hearing, allegedly, this is what supposedly said, it didn't make the news yet, but somebody who knows somebody on the inside said this is what happened, and that's why Jada, they said, is back in that home that she's in now, that what she was in before she moved in with Lil' Baby. I don't know, don't get me the line. I love Jada, so I'm not gonna hold this story too long, but that's what the girls is saying. The word on the curb, like Kaya says, that he got that girl pregnant. Why he hit rich Beyonce. I don't know. I feel like this would be out more if it was real. I just think somebody want to give YP Hood Rich some clout because he's wrapping him up. But he's, this might be his little cousin or sister hit me up or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Ciao. I don't know. If this is his little sister cousin, give me some fake shit, girl. Fuck you and fuck his music. Anyway, if it. <laughs> let me stop. He might try to shoot me. They from Memphis. If it ain't about me. Let's keep it. Okay. All right, that's all I got for the Shigani Ice Tea. Let's get into this mess.
First of all, okay, we got Silent Toe. I don't know what the f is going on, but any of my family members who are watching this, if you don't like me, let me know. Because at this point, I will stay away from you. I think that we are really at the end of time and everybody just going insane. And this isn't a joke, this is real shit. If I've ever made any of my family members mad or you got some ill will towards me or your jealousy or whatever, just let me know. I will clear the way and let you go because I got a life to live. And I feel so bad for these innocent people who are getting their lives taken over some nonsense. Now, I don't know why he did it to his cousin or whatever the case may be, but Salento murdered his cousin, allegedly from what they're saying. They said that um, he's booked in DeKalb County and um, they I guess they got a surveillance camera. I don't know, but it, it's just sad because if, if I'm not mistaken, a while back is that he had chased his girlfriend with the ax, his ex-girlfriend, so child, Ever since the Nene went down, it's like he just lost it. That's why they say be careful who gets famous because fame isn't for everybody because once it's gone, you lose it because it's like a drug. You want it back. And remember, he snapped on the whole internet. I just think he lost it. I just I just think like somebody was like, well, though, you don't know if the cousin tried to get him. I don't give a damn who tried to get who. The point is, it's done in the Bible. It said that the family to start turning the motherfucking So they got him. I don't know what's gonna happen, God. Ooh, I just pray. That's just, ooh, I pray for the family. I pray for the people who lost their brother, cousin, uncle, daddy, whatever. It's just sad. If it ain't about me, let's kiki next case. Next one, okay, we have Chloe. Mama is doing her due diligence. You hear me? So anyway, I guess her Caucasian fans and her Disney fans, they upset because she's very much getting in tune with who she really is and they can't handle it. And they let mama have it because they said she's doing too much. And for so long, I used to think I was like fat and like I used to hate my stretch marks and my cellulite. I'm not gonna cry. But it's like now I really love who I am. Now I want to say, Chloe, shut the hell up. Every last one of these motherfuckers who is mad at you, do you. Whatever you want to do, do you. You're not hurting nobody. You're dancing, you're positive. You are such a bright light, a good energy. And for these people to sit here and want to bring you down for being yourself, did nobody say nothing when that praying match is built by that Miley Cyrus got up there and did what she did. Now, Miley, I love you. I love you. But I had to say that I'm sorry. You is, you, well, oh, fuck. <laughs> but when Miley got up there and did what she did, when all these little rapper women get up here with their no clothes on, puts it out, gyrating on the ground, doing what, doing what they doing and they doing the world. They don't say shit. But when she want to come up here and embrace herself and feel herself, now there's something wrong. You know what, bitch? Fuck y'all. Next, the door, Chloe. Do what you want to do, okay? And be yourself. Nobody said no one already got a party be up there acting a damn fool, doing her little thing. She, she was talking about, thank you, next. <laughs> thank you, next. That was a fucking song, wasn't it? That's a fucking song? When she said, no, what's the song? When she was talking about some, you did it good, fuck me if you could. What's the song? You know the damn song. Whatever the song was, the new recent one, it was talking about fucking them right. Uh, whatever. Do you, Chloe, and if it ain't about me, shake your pussy. Next case. Next one, okay, we have Wendy Williams versus Method Man, Eric B, and Tamika, which is Method Man's wife. People didn't even realize at the time it was Wendy and one of the biggest stars, the lead of, of the leader of the biggest group in the world, mm -hmm. just left, got in her Pathfinder, and went back to her penthouse in wow. Jersey City where she bathed him in her jacuzzi tub. Wow. And and smoked more um, weed. You know, that was back in the Coke days. I don't remember what he did. I'm not gonna implicate him on that. Now see, what y'all forgetting is, Wendy was fine back in the day. She was attractive. This is her back in the day. Mama used to step. She was a thundercat baby. She came in taking the men. Okay, I'm pushing it too much. Did she take the men? She was just fine. She was all right. Uh, okay. She was all right back. <laughs> so Wendy was taking the men. <laughs> Not taking the men. Okay. <laughs> Wendy had some men. 
<laughs> Wendy had me in. <laughs> Wendy had met the man in Eric B. And she... <laughs> okay, okay. Wendy was Wendy. <laughs> I ain't gonna hit it again. And she did what she did, okay? So then when her show came out, it ended up coming out that she was messing with Eric B and she was running him a car and all this other bull crap and woo woo woo. So then all of a sudden, Method Man's wife came out and this is what she had to say about Whitney. She said, hold on, was I saying Whitney this whole time? Wendy, Jesus. Method Man's wife came out and this is what she had to say about Wendy. For years, I stayed quiet while Wendy launched attacks against me, my husband, and my family. And whoop, 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 I'm not gonna read all this bullshit because it's just too much. But she basically said that she was the bigger person. She took the upper road. But this time, she didn't want to do it. She then went on and said, Child, while you out here talking about other people's relationships, your own husband went out and cheated on you and had a baby behind your back. But then when you want to sit here and down people about drugs, girl, you was the one sniffing up coke yourself, Miss Tootin' Tasha. So I'm just like, oh, okay, bitch, she is really reading the girl. This is a legendary read she's giving Miss Wendy, girl. So then she turned around and said, you need to stop trying to get this clout off my husband's name because your career is falling and your TV show is a mess. So girl, leave my man's name out of it. And I was just like, girl, first of all, <laughs> you pushed it. I was with you until you said getting clout off your man's name. Now, all last time I heard about Method Man was how high. But I don't know about the other stuff, so girl, I mean, I'm with you. I'm all for it. Coming for her and reading her, but girl, let's <laughs> Let's meet that. Then all of a sudden, Eric B come out and he gonna put what he posts, talking about he another car. Girl, y'all, let me tell you something. One thing Wendy ain't gonna do is she not gonna lie. Y'all can say Wendy was crazy, she coked out, she this and that. Baby, y'all be surprised who these men be fucking with. Child, Wendy ain't them. I, don't, I just don't see Wendy lying on her pussy. I'm sorry, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see her trying to get ratings on her show. I don't see it. I just feel like she's like, look, you know what? I'm getting older. Fuck this shit. I'm already messy. Folks don't like me. Let me say what I gotta say. I believe her. I believe her. I believe her. Wendy ain't got no, she ain't got no reason to lie, girl. She gonna say what she wanna say. She gonna keep it moving. She don't care who it hurt, who we got. She don't give a fuck. That's why I believe her, cause she gonna say what she wanna say. And if you don't like it, whatever. Anyway, if it ain't about me, Let's keep keeping it. Okay. Next on the docket, we got Jordan B versus Jay Youngin and Jamia. Jordan, I'm not gonna spare you because girl, we done told you. And you the one who wanted to sit up here and tell us to stay out your business cause you know what you doing and all this other stuff. And you was taking that first day of school picture with him matching them ugly ass outfits, girl. I'm finna go in. So, J.D. Young had posted, know your worth, and Jordan had responded with, LOL, right. Then she said, I'm gonna shake back. Let me stop, I was doing good. I'm randomly mad. Woo, having a moment. Damn, you really doing me like that? And I was like, what's going on? Okay, he must have did something, because mama, when she started to look like this, she done went to one of them Super Saiyan modes, she done lost her mind. So then we kept looking and she said, yeah, this is my Twitter, I'm gonna tweet what I want. And I was like, girl, you did that last time. We told us he pissed on you, girl. And when he did this and he's, girl, shut up. Next, she said, I'm done with relationships. I swear, I come to the conclusion that niggas ain't shit. Bitch, we told you that. And you over there falling for it, girl. We told you that when he was locked up, before he got locked up, when he was hiding in the attic, all that. But what did you do? So now the toilet is broken and <laughs> she hurt. Girl, we told you this. We told you this, but no. You want to sit here and be the ride or die because you think that's what you're supposed to do. Girl, when he didn't hug you or do nothing to you when you got him, when you was there when he got to jail, that should have told you something, girl. Bitch, you know what? Let's keep reading. I'm just ready to get out of this stage. Bitch, when he was locked up, you that should have been your time to get out of it. But no, you want to ride or die. Oh, I can't wait to get out. I miss him. Bitch. At this point, I believe the mama. Remember the mama said she crazy? The mama was like, she crazy? She just said, and I was like, no, no, Jordan's not crazy. Jordan's good, she just really love him. It's really J.D. Young, and I was all on her side, but now I'm like, bitch. Jay might be right. Maybe he did it first the first time, and then she was upset, took him back. But once he see that this girl gonna let him keep doing it, he gonna keep fucking doing it. Anyway, let's keep reading. She gonna say, so evil. Bitch, it's not evil when you're allowing it. Now, now it's not evil, it's just, it's you. At the first two times, evil. How could you do that? How dare you? The next 12 times, it's not evil. <laughs> it's you. I feel playing, who's to say this shit wasn't expected? Well, bitch, if you knew, why did you go back? 
Then she wrote more and more and more, and I'm just like, you know what? At this point, girl, you just discombobulated, okay? Like, who the hell is gonna keep trying to find love in a man that don't love you? You tried to have a baby, didn't wake up. He pissed on you, did this, beat you, throw the stuff out the house, you didn't wake up. Made you look stupid on the internet, you didn't wake up. Like, when is enough enough? Like, I just don't get it. At this point, I'm just like, girl, shut the fuck up. Go talk to God about it, because right now, we can't do nothing. You come and you been to us, you been to everybody else, and we just like, what the hell do you want us to do? We, we tried. You cussed us out on your Twitter. We, bitch, at this point, you better get on your knees and pray. Jesus, I come to you humbly as possible with my arms open wide and my heart as a vessel. Help this woman. That's all I can say. Amen. Because I'm not gonna waste my time and my precious voice trying to help you out when you need want to help yourself. I know you can. Then Jamia, I guess is her name, she posts her and JD Youngin in the studio and baby, I already knew what was gonna go down. Oh, Miss Jordan about to throw a hissy fit. So then she goes on her Instagram, she posts a girl picture and saying all these hateful things because then Jordan went to Twitter and she was just like, girl, don't ever talk about my son. He even better than you. You Wendy Williams 2.0. Then she said, I'm just so glad I'm not a strong-faced woman. I was like... Well, <laughs> ain't none of my business. So then, uh, <laughs> then what else she said? I don't know. She was just talking shit, talking about when you land GPS or something, and I, bitch, I don't know. Talking about the girl lace. I'm like, girl, just, if you hurt, just say you hurt. <laughs> like at this point, you doing too much. You just at this point, you just seem bitter. Bitter as hell because this girl done posted up with your man in the studio while you was sitting here thinking he was holding him down while he was in jail. At this point, girl, she was holding him down too and when he got out, he went to where he wanted to be. Girl, let it go, let it go. J.D. Young and don't want you no more. Let it go. Having that baby didn't mean nothing, girl. That was just something to dump off in you. I'm sorry, I'm just being real. Okay, anyway, and then this is when it sent me. She said, because you know, everybody was like, girl, why do you care about a man who pissed on you? I'm starting to think this girl is crazy. She said, he didn't piss on me. He pissed in a Sprite bottle and threw it. <laughs> Bitch. At this point, cut. Cut off the camera. When I cut the camera, it cut the camera off. Do you think that makes it better? And then she said, when we was in the LA house, he beat me senseless. Girl, sh shut up. Because now you, the last time you said this and we talked about it, you said, no, he never beat me. He didn't piss on me. But now you're going back to the same story again. At this point, she delusional. I don't even know if he really did the bullshit at this point because when he when she said it last time, she said no, he didn't. Now she's mad again. Now she's saying he did this. What's the story? What is the story? What really happened? Then she said when she was pregnant with the son that he got mad as fuck because she was going through his phone and went crazy. Girl, no, at this point, you crazy. I don't even you know what. Jamia? If, if he beating on your girl, leave now so you don't end up like her. I don't know if he done knocked some of her shit loose in the head. I don't know what's going on. God forgive me, I'm talking too much. Jamia, the first lick, go. I don't want to seem like I'm mean, but this is confusing. This is crazy. I just don't know what the... <sighs> if it ain't about me, let's keep key next case. Next to the we have Tay and Jay. Before 2020, me and Tay, we were basically kind of disconnected. Our communication was totally like, it was out of there, man. Like, it was shit. Like, it was ass. We were disconnected, and that's why I was trying to get us connect back connected. That's why I was trying, I was attempting and attempting and attempting to work on stuff. But, you know, a relationship takes two instead of one. That's why it's just not working out. Like, if I'm just trying to work on a relationship and you're trying to work on something else, of course it's not going to work out. Let's be real. Damn. Like, maybe she was calling out for help. Maybe I did miss the signs because she had told me, you know, um, another thing that she was calling out for help the whole year and I was missing the signs and maybe I was, I was, you know what I'm saying? Um, I wasn't even calling out for help. I was just trying to save our relationship. It's the thing, like, 
I hate when people try to use, because I, I brought it to YouTube that I was depressed at one point, but I wasn't even depressed. Like, of course, I was going through some stuff, and of course, we're in a relationship. I'm thinking I can talk to you. I can count on you to, like, vent to, because that's all I needed was to vent. Once I release what I'm feeling inside that's making me feel any type of way, I'm good. But I didn't have that person to vent to. That's how I feel. I feel like... With Jazz, I was always there, always listening, always encouraging her, always uplifting her, always doing everything like that. But I just, this year, I don't feel like it was reciprocated. Saying real shit was, was said when you are arguing. Real feelings are put on the floor, like real shit that you didn't know a year ago or feelings that you didn't know was there were said. So from some of the things that she had said, my heart, my mind, my body, I honestly, I, I just feel like I couldn't, like, I couldn't do it. Like, I just couldn't, like, I don't know. Something in me was just like, it's time to focus on yourself. Now, now, Jazz, you a mess because both of y'all basically said that during the relationship, you didn't really communicate. You didn't know that she was upset or whatever the case may be. And she was trying to get you to know that she was upset. She was hurt. And when she was going through things, she didn't have you to lean and depend on and talk to. But when you were going through things, you were able to talk to her and she would listen or whatever the case may be. So then when she finally told you how she felt and that she didn't want to be with you and all this other stuff or whatever the case may be, you said that hurt you because you didn't know. Well, bitch, if you would have listened when she was trying to talk to you, you would have known. But then you want to leave when she say her feelings and how she was feeling. You're selfish. You're leaving because she told you how she felt, because she felt distant now and there was nothing there. But then when she was trying to talk to that shit, you weren't communicating. So now when you're hurt, all is all, we can't be together. But when she was hurt, you know what? Girl. That's all I gotta say. Love yourself first. Don't get lost in this crazy world. Don't get lost. Stay true to your soul. Stay true to your spirit. Please, don't get caught up with all this other stuff. Don't let it change you. That's all I want to say. I don't know. Just, I don't know. Girl, I feel like that right now. They just mad. Maybe later on in the line, maybe like two, three months from now, they'll get back together. But right now, they don't, it's just the girl is really like, you know what, I don't want to tell you. Like, I just don't really want to be with you. Jazz probably had another little thing going on anyway on the side. But all right, child, I don't know. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. Next one, okay? We got Trey versus Marie. I don't know how to pronounce her first name. Well, child, as y'all know, they just had a baby, whatever the case may be. And everybody thought that baby was going to bring them together. But I guess it didn't. So they went to their Twitter and child, they let it all out. And Trey had first tweeted, I will never trust a bitch again and that's on my soul. And I'm like, oh my God, so you calling the mother of your child a bitch? And I was like, so our message is not working now? Like we just go to Twitter and say all this stuff? Like couldn't y'all have texted each other this? Y'all got a child involved. But you know, these YouTube couples never work anyway. So then she decided that she was gonna respond with, niggas trying to make a girl look so bad because of the mistake they made. And I'm like, well, what mistake did he make? Now see, me, I like to think sometimes. I'm like, girl, I don't really think you never like women anyway, so this shit catch up. You know, some girls really do be dating these men who date other men, and they be okay with it, and it's like a whole, you know, swingers type relationship. Look at Will and Jada. But then she stay quiet because she's like, you know what, I know what you do, but it's okay. I'm gonna let you do your life. Look, okay, conspiracy theory. Anyway, keep going. So then she goes and she tweets about how guys are always in her DMs and she warned him about it to let him know whatever the case may be. But then when she catch him doing something, it's like he getting mad. So I'm just like, girl, stop saying you caught him and tell us what you caught. Did you screenshot it? Did you video record it? We need to see something because at this point, girl, y'all just babbling. How y'all gonna come to the internet and tell us half the shit but don't tell us the whole shit? What the fuck did it do? That's what I want to know. So then that's when he comes back and he just confirmed what I said. He was like, man, she can't even tell y'all what I did because she didn't catch me doing nothing. That's cap. He said she just left because she wanted to leave. I don't know. Child, you know what? He done got, these two done got so ghetto. Ever since him and his brother done signed with that 100, what, 100 MGK management or something, they think they just real gang and shit, honey. You know, Sue Woo, all that stuff. I don't know. Ain't that a little hood label? 
Uh, oh, no. So she kind of she says, yeah, you never cheated during a relationship, but it was what you were planning to do after we decided to leave each other. So I wonder what you just planning to do. Girl, just say it. She says she ain't said it. These YouTubers and these celebrities be having these side contract relationships where you can't say nothing, and if you do, you get sued, and I just want to know. So then he gets mad and he says something about don't mention nothing about niggas I did songs with in your DMs because you only mention it once we got into arguments whatever the case may be. Boop, 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 boop. So I don't know. At this point, they still going at it and I'm just like, y'all shut up because y'all fussing like y'all sisters or something. But you know, it is what it is. I don't know what's going on with these two, but whatever's going on, it's going on. But it all come out in a minute, girl. Him and his brother need to stay single because baby, it's just not working. Maybe, maybe they need to try niggas or something. Okay, well, anyway, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. Next on the docket, we have me and Freddie Now, they are on Baywatch. People have been sitting together. They've been posting little stuff here and there, and people saw the shoe that he bought, and all of a sudden, she had the shoe, and just a whole lot, a whole lot of... Do you have a new boo? I guess that's who's the new guy. Mm, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh... It's giving very much. I be thugging. It's giving very much. I just be chilling. It's giving very much, baby. I'm thugging. I can't be your girlfriend. I'm just playing. Anyways. I don't know if y'all remember four months ago when Corey went live. Meek mad as hell at Carmen, but Meek just cheated on your whole nigga with Fredo Bang. You cheated on your nigga with a rapper from your hometown. And you cheated on your nigga with another person from your hometown. He cheated on you. With a bitch in the house. We was there. I seen them. I was I, like, it, it wasn't like, bro, like, it, I'm, that's all situation. I ain't gonna do it. Oh, it's just mighty funny how y'all are now mixing and mingling it all together. I don't know. Maybe that's why King really left and everybody's sitting over here all on Neek's side. Like, ooh, Neek was just so nice for him. Woo, woo. I don't know. You know, I don't keep up with the YouTube couples, but. They always say to come to the light with what you do, child. And girl, she with this man now, allegedly doing stuff. So maybe what happened back in the day was really real. I ain't gonna talk on it too much, but we'll see. If it ain't about me, let's get key next case. Next up, okay, we have Italy and Sky versus Young lady. Every time Sky's name is brought up, it's brought up with mess. It's just, and everybody always sides with Sky because she's really. I will, I, I like Sky, but I will say I think Sky is manipulating and a little messy. She knows how to be undercover, clean, messy. Because everybody she get in the shit with, she turns it around and makes it seem like that person was attacking her. So now. Blasian got upset, I guess, because, you know, Inali Chopper and Sky are now making this publicly known relationship that they like each other, whatever the case may be. So then Blasian goes live and she says this. And you already insecure off top, off rip, like, for everybody who don't know, I came up off the I left, I, the last time I heard or talked to the is when I dropped his stuff off in L.A., and cut and me as my witness right hand of god i ain't never had to lie about nothing so for you to sit up here and post in your close friends like oh he fell asleep watching a movie with me and this and that you're bum and you're lame and then every time i see it you delete it like you trying so hard to prove a point to somebody who don't care i do not care and it's never been about the always about my respect. Anytime I felt some type of way or confronted anybody about anything, it's always behind my respect because you're not going to sit up here and play in my Now, to me, it's petty because why did you add this girl to your close friends just to show her that you and this dude was watching movies together and then you go out and tweet and say, I'm over here trying to watch movies with him, but every movie y'all are suggesting he's an already seen. Bitch, you are petty, girl. Sky be petty behind the scenes. See, she's smart. She don't do it on Twitter. She don't do it on text messages. She do it to where only you gonna get what the fuck she talking about. She messy. Mama's messy. I'm sorry, mama messy. And then what else is messy? Sky used to be up under this girl's pictures, liking them and everything. And then all of a sudden, now you dating her man, her ex-man. That's messy. 
And I think that's why NLE is fucking with her to get that at Blazing. NLE is on this little woke thing. I mean, I love him. He's very cool as hell. Got good music. But NLE, you, you had it. You know how to hit somebody where it hurt. And I feel that he's messing with Sky because he knows it's going to make Blazing upset. That is what I feel. Sky, be careful because, baby, I think you just another chess piece and he going to play with you too, girl. You'll get embarrassed, honey. It is what it is. But, Inali, you be careful because she pet it too. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. Next one, okay? We got T.I. and Tiny versus Sabrina. I know what happened. He knows what happened. So don't sit, uh, don't sit around. What you won't do on top of everything else is you won't lie on me. Clifford Harris put a gun in my head. Truth is, I didn't have a weapon. Truth is, I didn't call the police on him. Truth is, I didn't sue him and I could have. Truth is, I never spoke about this on the many times I could have spoke about it. That's the truth. That's the truth. And I don't understand how you got these big old balls of steel because you know me. You know me. More than you know me, you know me. And I'm, I'm the smallest bit of your worries. Don't worry about me. I'm outside the statute of limitations. I don't need nothing from you. But my truth is my truth. So that's when Tiny put her comment. She was like, hold on, wait a minute. You were just saying my husband was your abuser and he put a gun in your head. He mentally messed you up. But then just two years ago, you had your sons at his place trying to get him to train them. So that just didn't make sense. So everybody was just like, okay, What's going on here? So it was getting a little spicy, and baby, this is when it took flight. He said, I'm the ghetto friend who should have fought Bernice. Do y'all remember? And the flip the out on me because I didn't go fight Bernice because it ain't my goddamn thing. But they still suffer me. from nerve damage. She threatened me. She, she had me scared to walk around the city of Atlanta. Sabrina. I was scared to walk around my own goddamn city. I was so scared of this. I'm telling you. And it ain't right. And to everybody who she done with, and you've been a victim of her. It bugs me, goddamn it. Because this got to stop. Inbox Shakana Anderson right now. Inbox me. Now, the one thing about Shakana, Shakana will, <laughs> Shakana will cry at the drop of a hat. I was like, was Shakana really crying? <laughs> or was she kiki and talking about she was scared of this woman because Shakana played so much? I was like, Shakana! <laughs> Damn, she was drunk. I don't know, but somebody throw in a tissue because she was really in her feelings that this woman had her scared to walk around the streets of Atlanta. But I was like, Shakana ain't scared of nobody. So I don't think she was scared of this woman. To walk around Atlanta. <laughs> but anyway, so she then goes live again and she says, If Tiny would pay that home attention, she wouldn't be even into it right now with Tia. She's looking fucking attention. She wants Tiny. <clears throat> she, she, she obsessed with Tiny. Like she wants Tiny to be her girlfriend. Now, listen, this is my thing. If it came out to tip, pull the gun on her, right? How do we change from tip? Tip not the victim no more. Tip is the victim and Tiny now is the legend. How do we go from that? So she done got mad at Tamika for taking her husband. He go the whole goddamn thing. She has a problem. She ain't talked about nothing about how she Tamika and Tip. I said what I said. <laughs> Why she ain't talking about how she done sucked Tamika Why we ain't talking about that? Let's get into it. <laughs> yeah. Y'all want to talk about that? Let's get into it. I'm trying to figure out why she ain't told y'all much why she ain't told y'all about she wanted the women who used to go recruit the what's up hey hey now they're gonna real see they're gonna ask her why she ain't told she didn't get and she women empowerment why she didn't tell y'all that she done had some of that why she ain't tell y'all <laughs> she talking about all the rest of these folks running around here why she ain't tell y'all she been <laughs> and then I'm sad cause to me I guess time I don't know I ain't never I swear to God her husband huh, huh. They don't wanna. I don't get involved. I don't know what they do in their life cycle. I'm not a part of it. But I know she done been f***ing now. Ask her how it tastes. Go ask her. So she kind of said how She know how they taste too. Ask her how to be tastes. Ask her do she want some more. Is that the problem? Well, ask her what was going on when she was in the threesomes and the foursomes. What happened with her? Huh? What about when she used to go get to recruit the whole form? Where she at in this? Now, Shakana, I love her down. But, baby... That's going against friend code. They are, she already alleged them for putting a gun on their head and whoop, 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 and this and that, whatever the case may be. But then you go and tell that they done had, now mind you, I just said that I feel she had a threesome with them, whatever the case may be. And now you are saying that they did have a threesome, that they were doing this, and she was going to get other women to do this and do that. And I'm just like, oh my God, they was bringing in folks. We know this. So they had people going out fishing for people. 
That's what the crazy now. Remember this conversation right here. Shakana said that that woman was going out, getting people for them, mind you, and she was having threesomes and relations with them. This is what Shakana said now. This is what Sabrina came out and said, y'all please stop telling me what a fan now celebrity came out and said about me. This all happened before she even knew who I was, so how can she even speak on it? Woop, 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 blah, blah, blah. Now it started to get spicier, because it's like, okay, now Shakana done said some stuff that the woman wasn't even saying, and it done got spiked. A lot of women started DMing her, sending her their stories and whatever the case may be. And the story that got me was a woman that said, <laughs> T.I. did the same thing to me, and his penis was curved. Sweetie, ain't nobody ask you that <laughs> shit. Nobody asked you with the penis curved. And it's just like, I believe these women and I want to take this seriously. But a lot of the format of the stories were the same. Like, nothing was different. They all were the same. Nobody was using their real email. She wasn't going to out anybody. So it's like, nobody wanted to use their real email. And I just feel like if this was 100% true, somebody would have said, this is me, but don't show me. Uh, but I want you to see who I am. Put a face to who is hurt. But I can't tell a victim how to, you know, present their story or whatever the case may be because I don't want y'all getting mad. That's why I said this is a sensitive topic. I don't really want to get into it too deeply. But I do feel like sometimes in social media and with celebrities, a person can tell their story, but then you have a lot of people come up and make these fake stories just to feed in with what's going on. So you have to be careful who's real and who's just trying to add fuel to the fire because they want shit to blow up. So all of these ladies, I don't believe, but I do believe some. But that's when T.I. and them came out with their statement and they said, whoop, 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 blah, 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 blah. And their statement said that they were very much disgusted by what was being said and what's going on. Because I just don't see it. Now, I do know they kinky, but I don't see them doing this. So then T.I. came out. So as y'all could probably guess uh, or imagine, it's been extremely difficult for me to remain quiet uh, in, 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 in light of all the things that have transpired and all of the, the egregious allegations that's been tossed around about me and my wife. Um, but it's a reason for that. And I don't mind sharing it. You see, if a person does not have any right to, to criminally or civilly have you in court. They have no right. The best thing they could do, it gets you for a defamation, a defamation suit, drag you in court, make you pay their legal bills, to get you in court. Now, I mean, at this point, man, this is, the, this is the point where that don't even matter to me no more. First and foremost, I wanna say my wife, my wife is a beautiful person with an amazing spirit and a kind heart. She's a devoted mother and she has a humble soul. She don't deserve it. She don't deserve it. She don't deserve it. Uh, now, what we're not gonna do is open up the door to my bedroom, as you shouldn't have to either. Open up the door to my bedroom for everybody to come in, chime in and make their opinions about what we do and don't do or should or shouldn't do. But I will say this, whatever we ever have done it's been done with consensual adults who into what we into and like what we like. If we want something, we know exactly where to go to get it. We ain't never forced nobody. We ain't never drugged nobody against their will. We ain't never held nobody against their will. We ain't never made nobody do anything. We ain't never trafficked anything. Well, sexually trafficked anything. Um, I ain't never raped nobody. Never raped nobody. Black women in particular should be supported, protected, defended, uh, and uplifted. However, evil has no gender. People with evil intentions have no gender. A threat comes in all shapes and sizes. So then Shakana came back and she backpedaled on what the, some of the stuff she said. Willie allegedly used to tell me stuff about her. Okay, and what Willie used to say to me, he used to be like, you know, she this person, she that person, she this person, she that person. So yesterday, when I said what I said on the live, okay, I was speaking out of her. I was just saying what she was saying about somebody else and letting somebody else. I was just only saying that back to her. That had nothing to do with none of the rest of the women. I was really aiming that back to her because I feel like she's psychotic. That's my opinion. Because I would never go and attack nobody and buy their goddamn name. 
If I'm down with women, I'm down with women. I'm going to try to help you by your name, not go by your name. I had to spend $5,000, you guys, to pay for an attorney and buy my name, my government name. But what y'all ain't like going to do is pull me in some that I ain't got nothing to do with. I don't know Sabrina and Tiny in their friendship because when they, they weren't friends when I came around. I cannot say that Sabrina recruited nobody for them because I don't know. I know that because Willie said that shit. I'm crying because it's hurtful, friend, buddy. I heard what Willie said. Willie, her friend, he said she recruited her. I don't know. I don't know her. She told y'all in the post that I don't know her. How the f*** could a wannabe, a wannabe person speak on them when I didn't know her, okay? And I'm not in nothing. And I just cleared my name. For all you miserable people who want to keep attaching me to it, and that's what you do. But I'm not in a goddamn thing, okay? I've never, ever, 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 ever seen nobody in that type of life. But my thing is, if Willie said this, why would you go back and say what somebody else said? Now, I understand you said you was upset with her because she's attacking your friends and what a friend do is stand up for them. But if you don't know, then you don't say. Just let it fall out and let this be. If Tip and Tiny ain't step up and spoke, then we should just all fall back and wait and let them speak first. But you jumped out, friend, and you said it, and that's why people were attacking you. Sabrina probably be on the shade room, and she saw what Raz B did. So she said, let's take a lot of tech to test. Mind you, she went and she took it. It said everything she said was true. All she said was that T.I. pointed a gun to your head. It was true. Did T.I. pointed a gun to your head at Tamika House. It was true. And did T.I. do whatever, harass or whatever, and said true. But it didn't say nothing about the sex, the drugs, and all the other allegations she was saying. What happened to those questions? Where are those questions out? But she got all these 30 girls allegedly saying that this happened to them. But where are those questions? It should have been like, did those girls send you those emails? Did those girls say that to you? Were you involved in a threesome with Ti and Tiny? Were there drugs appointed? Were there drugs appointed at the front door when you before you go in? Where are those questions? Now, like Ti said, he's grown. Everybody know that what him and Tiny do, and he said anybody that is involved knows. What they getting themselves into. He said there's no drugs or nothing involved. And even if there were drugs involved, like the girl said, the girl said that you got, the girls were saying in the emails that they make you take the drugs at the front door. You have a choice. And now, and I, listen to me now, because you're all grown. I can understand if you were children or minors, but you're grown. If somebody says, you can't come in my house unless you take this, then bitch, you need to go. You know what? I, 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 I don't think I'm going to do this. Even one of the other girls in the email said they told us we had to take drugs at the front door, but me and my friend pretend we took it, but we still had sex anyway. Well, bitch, you weren't drunk and you just wanted to have sex. And then for anybody who's ever done coke and done X pills, when you are on coke and X pills, baby, you are up, 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 and up, up, up. You can't go to sleep. These people talking about they passed out on coke and X pills. How? Unless there was some type of downer in your drink, I don't know. But again, at the front door, y'all are all allegedly saying that y'all had to take a drug to get into the house. You had a choice. Now, whatever the minor situation was, those were wrong because those people are looking at you as like a celebrity, whatever, whatever, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. But the ones who were grown, you had a choice. You had a choice. And like T.I. said, Everybody that come over there know what you're doing, know what's going on. Whoever they go find, whatever they want to go find, you know what's up. So I don't know. This is too much. I'm not getting too deep in it because, baby, it is messy. But I just, ooh, honey. I don't know, baby. It's messy. Oh, they probably do do drugs. Let them force nobody to do drugs. I don't believe that. I don't believe they force somebody to do drugs. I believe they, if you want to, you can. If you want to do some dominatrix shit, some S&M, you can. But you know what's going on and you have a choice before you walk in, you're grown. Now, if it was unwilling and they slipping shit in your drink, yes, they need, that's fucked up. 
but all in them emails, they say you can't enter that house unless you take a pill. Well, bitch, you shouldn't have went in the house. I don't want to hear, oh, celebrities got money and it's your favorite celebrity, so that's why you did it. No, you still have a brain. I don't give a damn. If my favorite celebrity tell me, I want you to do a line of coke or a powder before you come in here, I'm going to be like, well, guess what, baby? Catch me at the bar. <laughs> Catch me at the bar. We can get a couple of drinks and hopefully we can top something out there, but I ain't coming here doing no drugs. I'm sorry. Mm -mm, I, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing no drugs. I'm doing it. So I don't know. I'm not saying they're right. I'm not saying the vic I'm not saying the allegedly victims are wrong, but everybody has to be accountable for what they did. So if you allowed yourself to go in, that's on you. If they were drugging people unwillingly, that's on them. But nobody said unwillingly. Everybody said it was willingly before you walked in and you got yourself in some mess. And then after it's done. You feeling bad and you and it's eating you up that you made this, I guess, mistake, and now you wanna say this happened to you. Y'all gotta stop doing stuff with these people just because it's who it is, and then you wanna feel bad. Alright, well I'm not gonna talk about it too much because that I know that's just is sensitive and I don't I don't get into all that. When it's too deep, I don't get into it. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this cane. All right, well, that's all I got for Mess and Monday, honey. Um, make sure you follow my Instagram, my Twitter, and you send me the mess, and I will see you next Monday. Next case. A lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a lot of going on.